In this video, we'll be working through question 4.2 of MathLit paper 1, November 21. If you would like a copy of this question paper, the link is in the description below. Question 4.2. Bobby got the idea of selling Briani from his niece Janet who has her own takeaway business in South Africa. Janet's variable cost to make one plate of chicken Briani is 13 Rand. A fixed cost amounts to 600 Rand. We are instructed to use the information above to answer the questions that follow. 4.2.1 Janet uses the equation below to calculate her total cost. Total cost equals 600 Rand plus 13P, where P is the number of plates. Use the equation to determine the number of plates sold if the total cost was 1380 Rand. Using the equation given, we will substitute total cost with 1380 Rand. This will give us the equation of 1380 Rand equals 600 Rand plus 13P. We can rearrange this equation so that we have the total cost on the right side of the equation. So 600 Rand plus 13P equals 1380 Rand. This does not change the equation above and it's only done so that the unknown variable is on the left hand side of the equation. Now subtracting 600 Rand from both sides of the equation, we get a simplified equation of 13P equals 780 Rand. Now if we divide both sides of the equation by 13, we will get 13p divided by 13 equals 780 rand divided by 13. And this will give us p equal to 60. 4.2.2 Table 6 below shows Janet's total cost and income from selling different numbers of plates of Briani. Table 6 is divided into 3 rows with the number of plates sold in the first row. The second row lists the income in the rands per number of plates sold and the third row lists the cost per number of plates sold. The income graph has already been drawn on the attached answer sheet. Use table 6 and the same grid on the answer sheet to draw another line graph with the cost of the different number of plates of Briani. On the graph we see that the amount in the rand is represented on the y-axis each horizontal line on the graph represents 50 Rand because there are 10 spaces between 0 and 500 as well as between 500 and 1000 and so on. The number of plates of Briani is represented on the x-axis. Each vertical line represents 10 plates of Briani. The graph for income is already drawn on the answer sheet and we are instructed to use the same grid paper to draw the graph of cost versus income. Using the values in table 6, the graph representing cost of the different number of plates of Briani is drawn like this. From the table, if zero number of plates are sold, the cost will be 600 Rand. So we place a point at the coordinates of 0, 600. From the table, if 10 plates are sold, the cost will be 730 Rand. So we place a point at the coordinates of 10, 730. From the table, if 30 plates are sold, the cost will be 990 Rand. So we place a point at the coordinates of 30, 990. When we place all the points on the graph for each coordinate, we will get the following line graph representing the cost versus number of plates sold. 4.2.3 Determine the minimum number of plates of Riani that Janet must sell before she starts making a profit. Using the graph that we have drawn or table 6, we see that the minimum number of plates of Riani that Janet must sell before making a profit is 50 plates. And that's going to be it for question 4.2. If you found this video helpful and you want to learn more, you can check out this video next.